the Duke of Falsehood right now. Harry is receiving a tremendous roasting on Twitter as a whole. Harold a hero, an amputee war hero, is described by Prince Harry as disagreeing with the Duke's accusations that the media failed to highlight the plight of injured British soldiers in his Netflix series. The Duke of Sussex's controversial comments are featured in his new Heart of Invictus series, a five-part documentary that follows the struggles faced by injured veterans, but his comments have incited rage among military heroes who are now turning in the direction of the Duke of Sussex, who claims that he felt furious that the UK media ignored British troops wounded in Afghanistan despite numerous newspapers running regular front pages on the conflict and special features but the troops who lost their lives apparently inspiring the Prince's Invictus Games for handicapped veterans. Ben Motbean lost his arm and a leg in a blast in 2008 when he was only 20 years old. However, he took to Twitter. Ben criticised the Prince's assertion that the UK press had ignored injured soldiers and wrote, Still love, Harry, but once more I must disagree. I have no idea what the media is talking about, but I am aware that British media has long covered veterans. Harry's attack on the media is simply one aspect of his campaign against tabloids. He tried to blame the media for ignoring the soldiers after he didn't truly prevail in court. Off to spare, Ben McBean was frequently interviewed and essentially stated that Harry should remain silent. When the Duke of Disinformation is revealed to have lied within 30 seconds, it never ceases to amaze me what he flashes as facts. Simply stating it is one thing but having it preserved for future generations along with the ridicule and reputational harm it fosters is absolutely astounding. The news was released as senior veterans and other commanders criticised the prince for his remarks regarding the Says Hero anime. The assertion made by McNabb that the media didn't stand up for our injured service members is disrespectful and untrue. Recollections may differ, said Commander Lord Richard Donut of X-Force, echoing the late Queen. When Harry served, the 72-year-old veteran served as the chief of the general staff and negotiated the news blackout agreement that allowed his tour to proceed. Additionally, on the latest episode of Piers Morgan, retired Army Colonel Richard Kemp charges Harry with betraying his own family and abusing his position for personal benefit. Kemp draws attention to Harry's words in his biography concerning assaults on soldiers and his claim that they should be treated as less than human arguing that these statements serve an overarching narrative rather than honestly capturing the military experience. Kemp claims that as a result of Harry's activities, the military now views him with distrust and has less affection for him. Maybe I could respect him if he just said, I was lucky I was on the back lines and I was protected, no, I want to give back to the real heroes, or something similar, but that's never going to happen. I'm happy that these veterans are telling the truth when they speak. The military places a high priority on loyalty to one's family, the king and queen, and the country. By relentlessly disparaging his own family, the king, the Koreans, and the nation for personal vengeance and manipulation to earn sympathy and a following for money, Harry hasn't gained a shred of loyalty. He and his wife only work for their own gain in terms of fame and power. Harry is such a disgrace and a terrible ambassador for military ideals. This public calling out hasn't occurred before, as far as I'm aware. First, veterans are feeling more confident to speak out about how his attempts to utilize the military as a show of force have a derogatory reputation that is growing. He's going to get bit by it in the end.